Hey everyone, in this lesson we will write a program to find the factorial of a positive integer and, and we will do so by using a very important and powerful concept in programming which is called recursion. And the prerequisite for that you all should know about functions in programming. Now as we know that in mathematics if I want to define factorial of n it will be defined as the product of first n integers. So if I want to define factorial of n, it will be defined something like this. As we can see that it is product of first n integers. And we can also write it in a better way as or simple way as n into factorial of n minus 1. If I want to write it in a simple or formal way, it will be something like this. Where we want have n factorial as n into n minus 1 factorial when we have n greater than equal to 1 and it is equal to 1 when we have n is equal to 0. 0 factorial is special case and it will always be equal to 1. When we write a function in simple form of itself, we call such a function as recursive function. Now the concept of recursive function is also valid in the context of programming. So I will write, so let's try to write the program, recur program to calculate the factorial. The program will appear something like this. If we have n as equal to 0, it will return 1, otherwise it will return n into factorial of n minus 1. Okay. Now as we can see that, the within the function or method factorial we are calling the method itself with the changed argument or reduced argument so when we call a method within itself we say that such a call is actually a recursive call this is basically a recursive call Now let us see how computer understands and executes this particular method. Let's say we want to calculate factorial of 4. Let's say we want to calculate factorial of 4. When a computer tries to calculate factorial of 4, it sees that the function is calling factorial of 3. So it passes the execution of factorial of 4 to the execution of factorial of 3. And it posts the execution of factorial of 4. And the current state of factorial of 4, it will be stored into the memory. So now, if I want to evaluate factorial of 3, the function will call factorial of 2 and it will pose the execution of factorial of 3. Likewise, when I want to execute factorial of 2, it will call the factorial of 1 and pose the execution of factorial of 2. Similarly, if I want to evaluate factorial of 1, it will call factorial of 0 and it will post the execution of factorial of 1. Now as we reached factorial of 0 we know that we will end up in a base we will end up in a base case and or special case and we know that the value of factorial 0 it's always equal to 1. So if we calculate the factorial of 0 we will return here where we have the value of factorial of 0 as 1. So this state gets resumed and will get the value of factorial of 1 as 1. So we can use this value as 1 here and we will get the value of factorial of 2 as 2. So the state for this is also resumed here. Now the by the time we will get the value of factorial of 2 we can the state for factorial of 3 gets resumed. And we will have the value for factorial of 3 as 6. And by that time the, the, the execution of factorial of 3 will get completed. It will resume the state of factorial of 4. And it will evaluate the factorial of 4 as 24. So this is all about the basics of recursion. This is all about this lecture guys. Thanks.